My name is Dr. Manrina Road. I am the aesthetic dentistry expert for dentistry.co.uk. And today we're going to talk about how white is too white. <laughs> um, I, I feel like this, we're talking about teeth, obviously, uh, not skin colour. I feel like I need to mention that before we start. <laughs> um, so, there has been a lot of publicity recently about turkey teeth and the way they look. Um, I don't even know if recently is right because it's been going on for a while. Um, it, I think it started, it became quite big with, with Love Island a few few years ago um, with someone having these really, these really white veneers and um, I've certainly been questioned about it a lot recently after the Turkey Teeth documentary um, that I did for BBC iPlayer last year. Um, it's a brilliant documentary. If you've not seen it, then have a look. And they invited me on as their veneer expert um, to, for me to have a look at, at um, the, the presentation his teeth and, and see if I thought that she should have some veneers um, and they also sent her smile off to uh, 200 clinics in Turkey to see um, to see what they would do. But that's a whole another video we're talking about travel tourism and um, today we're going to talk about about colors of teeth. So um, I have done over 13,000 veneers in my career so I counted them about five years ago and I've done 13,000 so there'll be a fair few more um, that I've done since then and in that time um, I've only done two cases in a BL1 so a BL1 is um, a very white shade the whitest shade um, on the bleach shade guide the first case that I did in BL1, the gentleman came in to see me and he said, I want my teeth to look like they have got light bulbs behind them. So it was quite clear to me that BL1 was going to work for him. And even though I made sure to tell him not to tell anyone that I had done his teeth, um, I gave him BL1 teeth that, that he's very proud of and, and he has those. Um, the other case that I did was a few years after that, um, a young lawyer lady came in to see me. Um, she had A2 teeth. Um, so A2 is a really common shade uh, for patients to start with and um, she wanted, she was just sick of her yellow teeth and she wanted a really white smile. So she asked me to make her, her ceramics in, in BL1 and you know we, we argued back and forth, I was like don't do it, you know even if we do a BL2 that would be a better shade for you and she was like no, 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 she was adamant that BL1 was going to be the shade for her. So I put some really white bleach temporaries on for her so that she could check that out and check that it was what she wanted and she said that she loved them. And, and so I went ahead and did them, did them in BL1 for her. However, I need to tell you that she then came to see me two years later. She paid to have her ceramics replaced and she had her teeth replaced back to A2. She was so traumatized by her BL1 teeth she said she felt like when she entered the room, the first thing they saw that anyone saw was her teeth. No one was, was seeing her face or anything she was wearing. It was just this, this white smile um, that she went back to that kind of quite warm yellow color that she had before. And again, I was like, you know, we don't need to do that. We could do a BL4, uh, that would look great. But she's obviously a strong-minded lady. And all of that was, was about 15 years ago um, that, that we did the first set and then did the second set. And, and she's still my patient. Uh, 15 years later, I still see her and she's got her A2 ceramics in. Um, so, so that's my story with, um, with BL1 um, smiles. Um, I really love a BL3 smile. I think it's a really beautiful colour. Um, it is very similar to my tooth colour, um, which uh, my teeth are natural there. I've straightened them, I've shaped them and I've whitened them and I've done it all myself in a mirror um, I'm a cosmetic dentist so you know where else would I go would I go to do it um, and so I feel like by creating BL3 smiles for my patients because I know it's a color that's naturally achievable in in a mouth that's just whitened um, that their, their, their ceramics can look very natural my patients don't typically come to see me because they're looking for that really fake white smile or, or any of the treatments that I do because they're looking for, for fake results they come to see me because they want to look like like they were just born naturally perfect or naturally beautiful. And so those are the results that I like to achieve. Uh, quite often patients will say to me, oh, I don't want veneers, they look really fake. And I say, no, well, you don't know that my patients have got veneers. All you know is that they've got, they've got a beautiful smile. So 
I guess it depends on what you're trying to achieve. If you want, if you want to promote yourself as that kind of dentist that does that real like turkey teeth or, or Essex, is that okay to say Essex smile um, that's very white or, or those Love Island smiles, then then by all means, you know, you're going to do those, those BL1 smiles and, and your patients know what they're coming in for. And, and if you're comfortable with that, then, then you should do that. But, but really find your tribe, uh, find what sort of cosmetic dentistry you're comfortable with. And if it's natural results that you want, then for me, uh, how, how white is too white? BL1 is too white.